Hey guys, I'm LB, and I think you know what time it is. I have set up an application to help me solve this, because I, <laughs> I couldn't do it. So let me enable the window. There we go. And we need to make something that has rotational symmetry. Doesn't really matter where we put these pieces as long as they give us rotational symmetry. So right now, I can already tell this is not going to have rotational symmetry. Which is a shame. <laughs> which means I'm gonna have to mess with this for a while. But eventually I figure it out. I just wanted to do it on camera because, you know, it's interesting to watch. So, if we do something there, we gotta have something over here as well. But... That doesn't really work. No, that doesn't work either, but it, it looks like it does, but it doesn't. Where do we want to put this stuff at? Because none of this can rotate. That's the main issue. Actually, while I'm doing this, uh... I'm going to play an audio thing that I found. So let's go do that real quick. Yeah, here it is. God bade me behold the sea. And I saw the ship sinking and the planks floating. Then the planks, too, were submerged. And God said to me, Those who voyage are not saved. And he said to me, those who, instead of voyaging, cast themselves into the sea, take a risk. And he said to me, those who voyage and take no risk shall perish. And he said to me, in taking the risk, there is a part of salvation. And the wave came and lifted those beneath it and overran the shore. And he said to me, The surface of the sea is a gleam that cannot be reached, and the bottom is a darkness impenetrable. And between the two are great fishes, which are to be feared. Nafari, circa 970. What? I'm going to the store. Do you want a sandwich or something? You've been standing there for like an hour. I didn't want to interrupt. And I... I don't like sandwiches. Have you ever seen me with a sandwich? Why would you think I want a sandwich? Sorry. No, I... I need some sleep. It's okay. We're all working hard. I just want to read it right. We're going to be hearing this a lot of times. Every little thing matters because it gets so multiplied. It's good. It's already good. Thanks. Yeah. But we've kind of picked high goal posts. Every little bit matters. Oh, can you get me a coffee? Okay, that was interesting. I forgot that I can't leave the game, because it mutes the audio when I do that, so... Let's go back to what we were doing. And... Let's, let's reset this, there we go. So, the pieces are here and here. So, if we do something like... this... Well, it's gotta have rotational symmetry. Oops, no, don't do that, please. Thank you. That... kind of? No, I don't think that'll work. Yeah, that's- that doesn't have rotational symmetry. What I should have done is I should have made this ha show you the rotation at the same time or something, but... I just wanted to- to do it this way. 
Yeah, that's something we already had. Let's- let's not do that again. That's not going to work at all. How are we going to give this rotational symmetry? That is... the question. This is... kind of a start, but not really. Cause where would you put this guy, the yellow one? That does not have rotational symmetry. Neither does that, but I want to kind of look at it anyway. Let me back away so you can- oops. Uh... There, that'll work. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't work... for multiple reasons. So, let's go back over to this guy, and work on him some more. Because we want to have rotational symmetry, but I'm not really sure how to do that with these pieces. That doesn't work. Hmm. This is actually really tough. I- <laughs> Trying to figure out how to give this rotational symmetry is pretty tough. Yeah, that's not gonna work either. It's like they're kind of rotated from each other, like this is a... a 3x2 and this is a 2x3. But... that doesn't... give us rotational symmetry. I was watching Vertigo on his live stream. He was playing, uh... Sigils of... something that- the free game related to- t to the Talos Principle. And, uh, he's really good at these- these, uh, puzzles. I'm not, though. <laughs> I have a hard time figuring this out. That is not rotational symmetry.
Neither is that. Nope, that's not it either. Well, you know what, I'm... Let's do something else this episode. Between episodes, I'll work on that and make it so it's easier to see the, the rotational symmetry. But, uh, for now, let's go do something else. I wanna look around at something else because... I'm kinda sick and tired of being in this area. Actually, I do wanna show something that I noticed. But, I, I didn't really comment on it when, when I noticed it, so we'll, we'll go check it out now. Oh yeah, is there any way to get back behind here at all? I don't... think so. Oh well. Let's go over to the music box area. I still haven't done this, by the way. I'm dreading doing this. I am just literally... Not happy trying to do this. <laughs> this is the worst part of the game right here, ladies and gentlemen. I do not like it one bit. Okay, so what I noticed was if we look around here, I think it was. Was it here, or... no, maybe it was over in the other cavern here. Let me take a look. Yeah, up there. You can kinda see there's like a place to walk up there, but I don't know how to get there right now. Like, there's like a, a bridge up there, but I don't know how one would get up there. It's like it goes above this area. Where is this light source coming from? That's weird. Not even sure how you would get there, to that bridge area. Did I go in here yet? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Oops, got turned around. Like, maybe it's... Maybe it's something that is ac actually accessible from above ground? That might be it, but I'm not so sure. Cause like, where would it be physically, is the thing. Did I ever find any... Uh, audio note in this area? I don't think I did. We can look for that. Area's like a maze. Ooh, what's this? I don't think I noticed this before when I ran through here. I wonder if I can... ...start a path and draw somewhere. This is an interesting little object. Oh, look at this! Here we go, here's something we can kinda do. What the heck am I doing? What? 
Where is that trying to take me to? Oh, I see, I see. Did it literally just move me backward a little bit? Let me do that again. Yeah, it moves you backward a little bit. That's interesting. I guess it moves you into the right position. Now, how do we do this other side here? Like this, right? Yeah. This one also moves you backward. Okay, that's cool. Kind of thought that would happen at some point in here. Wait, was that it? No, that's just a little shard of light. Hmm. Cause yeah, this is just the, uh, other forest, and I think we've already explored all of that. Have I been here? I don't remember this spot. Yeah, I don't remember this spot at all. I don't think I've been here before. This spot seems kinda significant, you would think there'd be like a little audio thing somewhere, but... I'm not really seeing one. A nice view, at least. I feel like this is significant somehow, but I don't know how. ambience in here is really creepy, though. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess it's not significant. Or maybe it is, and I'm- I'm just not figuring it out, but... Doesn't really seem significant to me. Oh, here it is! Here's the little audio note! If we were not able, or did not desire to look in any new direction, if we did not have a doubt, or recognize ignorance, we would not get any new ideas. There would be nothing worth checking because we would know what is true. So, what we call scientific knowledge today is a body of statements of varying degrees of certainty. Some of them are most unsure, some of them are nearly sure, but none is absolutely certain. Scientists are used to this. We know that it is consistent to be able to live and not know. Some people say, how, how can you live without knowing? I do not know what they mean. I always live without knowing. That is easy. How you get to know is what I want to know. This freedom to doubt is an important matter in the sciences, and I believe in other fields. It was born of a struggle. It was a struggle to be permitted to doubt, to be unsure. And I do not want us to forget the importance of the struggle, and by default, to let the thing fall away. I feel a responsibility as a scientist who knows the great value of a satisfactory philosophy of ignorance, and the progress made possible by such a philosophy. Progress which is the fruit of freedom of thought. I feel a responsibility to proclaim the value of this freedom, and to teach that doubt is not to be feared, 
but that it is to be welcomed as the possibility of a new potential for human beings. If you know that you are not sure, you have a chance to improve the situation. I want to demand this freedom for future generations. Richard Feynman, 1963. I like that quote. Anyway though, I'm gonna work on this between episodes, fix up my app so that it actually shows the symmetry and stuff, and then we'll come back next episode and figure out what to do then. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!